if there's a bird in your classroom, um, you can always ask um, another teacher, teacher um, at your school if you could hang out in the classroom until the bird is out of your classroom with your students because um, it's hard, probably hard to get a bird out of the classroom when there's a janitor in there. And if it's okay, you can hang out in that classroom. It's just a, probably a good idea so you don't get in the bird's way and then the janitor can open the windows so then um, the bird can get out. Hi everybody, it's me now. Welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while and I have my dog Dingus right here. And today I'm going to do a Dingus and story time with you guys today. And um, today's story time is going to be a time my classroom had to share um, the room with another class because they had like a bird that escaped in their rooms, uh, had a bird that was flying around their room and they needed to be kicked out of the classroom until the bird um, came out of the room and the custodian or janitor had to like open all the windows, windows and move everybody out of their classroom just until they got the bird word out and which was fine spoiler alert because the class we were just watching a movie anyway in the classroom and so this is a story just to teach you guys that when you have a bird in the classroom and you need a place to go you could either go to the library or you can ask another teacher if um you could um be in the classroom with them if you and your class can be in the cl their classroom until the bird comes out of the room, room, don't just barge in and say, oh, we have to be in here because there's a bird in our room. And um, just it's just important just to be considerate. And you can also ask and ask and explain why. And a lot of teachers usually should be fine with this. So just to be safe, you can always ask first before you go in the class, class another teacher's class with your class. Um, it's just consideration. So I'm going to get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So I think this all started about 24 or 23 years ago. I was either in the second or the third grade at the time. I don't remember which school year this was, but um, I was in the second or third grade and I was in my classroom, my teacher had turned the lights off because we were watching a movie. And then all of a sudden we get a knock at the door and um, it's um, the class I think that's like maybe two doors down or at the time it was maybe um, another number classroom. So this teacher asks uh, my teacher if they could hang out in our classroom for a bit. Um, she had her whole class with her, with her, um, and they were explaining how they had a bird in their classroom and the janitor, they had to call the janitor to get the bird out of the classroom. And I don't know why, um, the janitor made them go to a different, go to our class for, to get the bird out of the room. Um, maybe just because they needed to open all the windows or something, or maybe they just, needed enough space for the bird to try to escape because it was probably hard with all the kids or maybe I think they had some kids that were afraid of birds or something and I didn't want to scare the kids. I'm not sure why they kicked them out of the classroom when there was a bird in the class. The janitor kicked them out of the classroom when there was a bird in there. So I think they needed an easier way just to get the bird out of the classroom. So anyway, way and my way. So the teacher talks to my teacher and asks if it's okay. And my teacher was very nice and she said it was totally fine because we didn't have that many people in my class anyway because I was in a special day class. And um, because my special day class for some weird reason only had like eight students or eight or 10 students in the class. And normally um, the classes at my school, they had like 20 or 30 students, but because it's a special day, they only had like a small amount. And um, so the teacher came in with her class and the, the kids um, all came in. They sat on the floor in front of all our desks and we were all watching a movie. I don't remember, I think we were watching like Lady and the Tramp or something. My teacher had brought the movie in from home for us to watch. 
and we were um, just sitting on the floor watching our movie and enjoying it. And then um, a few minutes later, I think the movie might have ended a couple minutes later. I think we were in the middle of watching the movie or were we towards the end of the movie? I don't remember where we were in the movie, obviously. But a couple minutes later, maybe an hour or so, the janitor knocks on the door and tells the teacher who had the bird flying around her classroom that they got the bird out and they were able to go back to the classroom, which was good because I think it was towards the end of school anyway, and the kids needed to go back to get their backpack. So um, the other, the teacher who had the bird in the classroom, thanks my teacher for letting her in her class be in, be in the, um, our, her room while, um, they were waiting for the bird to get out. And my teacher was so nice about it. And she said, that's totally fine. Fine. Um, fine. And it, we just want the kid, everyone to be safe and blah, 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 blah. So everybody leaves and then I get my backpack and then my classmates and I, all, my friends and classmates and I all get my back, get our backpacks. And we end up either, some people end up either going to the daycare or some people either go to the front of school for their parents to pick them up or either some people get on the bus to go to a different daycare. So everybody just goes home home and um it was uh, kind of nice to have to share the classroom with the other class despite we didn't expect it because everyone in the class was very nice and we were very grateful we were able to help out that class because they had a little situation going on in their classroom which they did not expect so the moral of the story is if there's like a little animal in your classroom and the janitor needs everybody to get out so they can get the animal out, you can always either go to the library or you could ask another teacher if it's okay to okay for you and your class to be in the same room as you room as them because there are a lot of teachers that will share their classroom with you and your class if they have enough room inside the classroom. And it's just a good idea. You can always ask ask um, first and explain why. And there's a lot of teachers that can and will help you out. And um, and it can be temporary just until you get like the bird or whatever animal is inside loose in your classroom out. out. So you can always share it, especially even if, um, but if there's not enough room, you could always ask the librarian if your class could be in there just in case, just until they get, um the bird or whatever is flying around in the classroom out so that was a story about how we had to share my my class had to share the classroom with another class who had a bird in their classroom i hope you guys enjoyed the story thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day of the week for a while and i'll see you in another video soon bye <laughs>